A clean room is an environment typically used in manufacturing scientific research with a low level of environmental pollutants such as dust, airborne microbes, aerosol particles or chemical vapors. Precisely, a clean room has a controlled level of contamination that is specified by the number of particles per cubic meter at the specified particle size. The ISO 14644 standard establishes a classification of the clean rooms depending on the number and the size of particles per cubic meter. Prior to the ISO 14644 standard, technicians used to use the classification include in the FIT STD209E standard. Although this last standard is not support anymore, its classification is still very popular. In order to get an idea about the cleanliness of a typical clean room ISO3 integrate circuit manufacturing, it must be said that a common operation room available in a hospital could be classified as a ISO7. Clean rooms are used extensively in semiconductor manufacturing, especially when photolithography procedures have to be carried out. In order to enter and leave the stuff that works, in a clean room must pass through airlocks, sometimes including an air sewer stage, and wear protective clothing, such as hoods, gloves, boats, and coveralls. This is the scheme of the clean room visited in May of 2015 at the University of Papitha Hanna Paula II, located in Biagua Podalska, Poland. The clean room has three airlocks. There are three main rooms and two transit rooms to ensure the cleanliness of the environment. The third room, or laminar airflow, has the lowest level of pollutants. The third airlock is provided by an air sower to achieve the least level of particles per cubic meter at the laminar airflow room. Now, come with us to understand what are characteristics of this clean room and what kind of activities could be developed inside. So where we are? We are in a first airlock, so available to use without the suits. So what are you doing in this uh, first uh, in room this, before uh, first the, the, the clean room? Room, we basically clean the suit mm -hmm. of out of the, the particles. So there's a series, this is the first airlock, uh, then after this door there's a second airlock, uh, the third airlock is when we are supposed to be like the clean as, as, as Come on. possible, so we can go. So when it, uh, when it uh, cleans itself, it, it will uh, have uh, less than four uh, particles in, in a cubic meter. Okay, so of, of so very very clean, uh, very controlled environment, and we can control uh, as well as the purity is, is not actually able. We are not actually able to control the purity because the purity of the air is is the highest possible, but we can control the amount of moisture and the temperature. We can like roll some gas in here as well. Uh, to, to do the drying in in uh, control uh, atmosphere, for example in argon or in nitrogen. Yeah. Basically it makes its purpose as, as, as until it uh, starts to be sticky. So what is uh, the, the, the aim of this, uh, sorry, of this uh, room, the, the third one? The third one is just to not let the dust and uh, particles let into the second room. Okay. And uh, the light, uh, we can uh, yeah. open the door. The light, uh, normal white light, uh, as well as... Mm, Red light. Okay, for uh, for uh, UV sensitive stuff, the more the light, the light, the better. So and the yellow light as well. For lithography. Yes, for lithography. 
So will we go down? Yes. So this uh, this one is a chamber with uh, whirlwind uh, uh, air uh, pressure. So there are there are uh, the air uh, travels through this room the way uh, that way that it sweeps all dust uh, from from our suits mm -hmm. from ourselves and uh, sucks it uh, to our filters. The basic uh, sample preparation, chemical preparation is done in here. Uh, this room is um, ISO 3 uh, grade, so around 50, maximum 50 particles on a cubic meter. Okay. Uh, because uh, the purpose of this room is to actually clean out us, mm -hmm. clean us and the stuff we bring, bring in here. The air, a so called air So, in this moment, we are in an air shower. It's basically a big uh, uh, vacuum cleaner. It uh, pumps a lot of air in and pumps a lot of air out of here to clean our suits, ourselves and the air in here just to enter the uh, room beside this door which is the room with the laminar air flow. Okay. So we can enter now over here. Here's the room with the laminar airflow. Will you explain me the, the color of the, of the light that you are, yes, that you are using? Yes, the lights are... Uh, there can be uh, white light, normal visible light, uh, normal white light uh, turned on, uh, but for the photolithography process we use uh, red or uh, yellow light. It depends on the photoresist that we use. Most of them are uh, sensitive for the UV light. So if they are sensitive for the UV light, they will be not sensitive for the light on the other uh, end of the spectrum. So red and uh, yellow as well. Okay. So when we uh, apply the photoresist on our sample, in this light it won't be exposed, it won't, uh, we won't damage the, the, the resistant layer. Would we summarize how many rooms uh, we had to, how many doors or rooms we need to... Uh, to uh, doors, there's two, two doors for the uh, air shower. Uh, one door uh, be between, uh, the, the air shower is between the laminar room and the vortex room. Uh, the door between the third last airlock and the vortex room, uh, the door, the doors between uh, second and uh, third airlock, the doors between first and the second airlock, and the main door. So uh, six, six uh, pairs of doors to to just enter this room.